So 90% of content creators will post online using their computers, but it's no secret that all of those content creators also have a mobile device that they'll use to monitor the statistics and analytics of those videos. In this video, I have a bit of an interesting review for you guys. I'm going to be checking out the software by Passfab. I just checked out their Windows partition software on the channel. And pretty much what I'm going to be checking out is their software and how you can unlock an iPhone if you've lost the password, are unable to unlock the iPhone, or would like to recover an old device. If you guys do enjoy the video, you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot. Massive shout out to the people over at Passfab for actually making this video possible. And with all that out the way, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So I'm here on my PC right here, and we are on the page for the Passfab iPhone unlock, and we can see it's supported by iOS 16. So that's good. It's the most recent iOS. I'm going to be going over some of the details of the software and then just showing you guys what it actually looks like. And then I'm going to be showing you an example of the process. Uh, so for example, it's fast, removes screen lock, iPhone passcode minutes. I've seen the video of how this operates and it is very fast and efficient. Secure bypass screen time MDM lock uh, without data loss. That's also a good thing because you don't want to uh, damage the installation on your iPhone itself. Easy to operate. I can vouch for that. This software is completely beginner oriented and you will never have any trouble using it and compatible. It supports every single iOS version and device. So that is great. And then if you want to download it, literally free trial. We can see people actively downloading it right now. Uh, we can see two people just download it, but that's uh, that's cool. And then coming down here, remove all types of screen passcodes. So for example, you got the six digits, the four digits, you got the iPhone is disabled, face ID not recognized, screen time passcodes. Maybe your screen's damaged and you need to get inside of your iPhone. There's a lot of different uses for the software. Like I said, if you forgot the iPad iPhone passcode, uh, the disabled screen, touch ID, face ID, get a second hand phone and there happens to maybe be a password on it broken screen doesn't let you to enter the password so this also does work with the apple id accounts if you ever are having troubles with that and you're not able to reset it that is an option same thing also screen time this works for so if you've forgotten any of these passwords you can easily reset it or unlock it and then also remote management uh so that's also an option for you guys to use but i'm actually going to be checking out the software now so let's do that so this is what the software looks like itself uh we can see there are are three different tabs that you'll actually need to use so obviously iphone 8 and above iphone 7 slash 7 plus and then other devices obviously what you would do is for me i have an iphone xr so i'd plug it in on the iphone 8 and above screen obviously uh there's these other options so ipad here so ipad models with face id ipad models with home button those are two different options and then ipod right here it also just goes through the different version. But honestly, the process of this is it's super simple. All it will do is you will connect your phone, like it says right here, connect your phone via the USB cable, press the volume up, down, next, press and hold the power button even if the screen turns black and then it'll say continue turning it so that's pretty much a hard reset and then it will actually release the power button until you see the connect to itunes or computer logo that appears on the screen so all this will do is it'll take you through a recovery process that's pretty standard itunes allows you to do it on windows but the only thing is sometimes it isn't efficient and there may be data loss so that's not exactly something you want because that'll mean that the computer reset process will actually get rid of some of the data on your iPhone and you definitely don't want that trust me unless you want to reset your iPhone with missing half of your pictures for example I would say this is a great alternative to iTunes you guys can download the free trial using the first thing in the description as well as the pinned comment and uh, yeah just the process of this is super easy beginner oriented like I said which is always a great thing to see and it really is simple I've had to reset my own phone a few times as I have forgotten like the screen time password for example and it can be such a process but honestly with a great software like this that's 100% free you cannot go wrong something like this will just save you so much time and so many headaches trust me I would just go pick this up just for your peace of mind but yeah if you guys did enjoy the video you want to support me make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot massive shout out to the people over at PassFab for actually making this video possible like I said check out the 100% free download link in the top of the description as well as the pinned comment to actually check out the software for yourself today and as always I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in a future video on the channel Peace out.